I'm Hugo Fines. I'm founder and CEO of Electric Imp. So Electric Imp makes basically a tiny little thing. Looks like a memory card. This is uh, Wi-Fi and a processor which connects any device to the internet. It works with our web service. It, we are like our motto is connect everything. You can connect anything. Um, in the long term, we're working with vendors to make devices with slots in. So you can have like a plug to control power or something which will go in your plants and measure the water level or, you know, tell you when your, your guinea pig is, is drunk or it's water. Um, any type of thing. Basically, the card is very flexible. It allows you to hook different devices up. Um, and then when, it, when the information has got to the internet, then you can, you know, it can do anything you can do with internet information. You can tweet it, you can send it as email, you can do an SMS, you can do anything with it. It's kind of very open. You can send it to your own server if you want. When you plug this card into a device, there's a unique ID chip in every device. It reads the ID and downloads the software it needs to run that particular device. So, you know, if you're making your hobbyist and you're making something, you have a dev board, you plug it in and then you can actually edit the code online in the browser press a button and it runs on the card immediately wherever the card is in the world so you can actually you know be developing stuff you know, you can build something into some contraption and you can be developing it without even have physical access which is kind of cool but you know if you're a vendor doing it as well you, know, you make say a power control thing you know you associate your code with that device but you don't ship it in the device so it's like okay. if you need to upgrade all the devices in the field because you found a bug you can just do it online it's really nice. It really uses the power of the internet, and we use Wi-Fi to communicate, so you need no extra box in your house. There's no gateway. To program it, if you're a developer, um, we use something called Squirrel, which actually looks quite a lot like JavaScript. If you know JavaScript, it will not be frightening. So that we use this thing called Squirrel because it's actually, it compiles down pretty small. It fits in our device very well, um, and it gives us the facilities we need. So we're already working with, with several vendors. Um, a lot of vendors being interested in adding this to their devices because one of the things is if you're a vendor you know adding Wi-Fi to your device building it in is expensive with this all you need to build in is a socket and an ID chip and that's like 75 cents of components so it means that you can you know ship a product like we have some products like a mousetrap here it's like a Wi-Fi mousetrap would be kind of a single-use product but the mousetrap vendor can put a socket and a chip in and now the mousetrap is, you can plug a card in and make it an internet mousetrap. And then the user buying it feels like, well, when I have a mouse problem, I'll plug the card in. When it's done, I'll take it out. But you know, they can have a mousetrap that sends them a text message when it's called a mouse, which is great for like humane mousetraps, for example. Um, but we split the problem in that, you know, we do the wireless part and the server and all that stuff. And then the vendor just gets to integrate that, that little part. But it's also great for hobbyists because, you know, as, make a fair people love this stuff so it's not really going to be consumer till the end of this year when you'll be able to buy devices which it plugs into but up until now it's you know it's great for hacking around with um, it's brilliant for developing and prototyping things with and it's like a, a really a really good integrated solution we think you know that it's very solid and the, the consumer part is very consumer um, you know if you want to use it as a developer it's cool it's kind of like yeah we've just made the developer side we're not just privately showing it to people we're showing it to everyone because we kind of think one thing is that you know it's so widely applicable like the mousetrap idea is that there are going to be a whole lot of uses that big companies aren't necessarily going to come up with but a hobbyist may do and that could be the next big thing that you need connected to the internet that really is makes sense and is useful you know you could have a floating pool boy which is solar powered and will email the pool guy to come around and and, and to your pH balance and like you know that's the type of device that wouldn't have happened before and now it's like oh it's really easy to make we've, we've definitely got a community and we're trying to work out ways to share code better uh, and people to contribute we're working like you know, want to make some instructable type tutorials online um, and just stuff to try and basically make it more and more accessible to people the team is seven people at the moment we are actively hiring so we're looking for uh, web and server people, particularly, but we're looking, you know, embedded programmers as well, uh, hardware hackers, people who want to, you know, work on making reference designs, um, you know, marketing, everything, lots of stuff. Um, basically, check out our website. Uh, if you still think you're, you're great and we don't have your job up there, email us. Um, 
and basically get in contact. And you know, we 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 really we're growing quickly. We're just moving into new offices next week. I'm um, in Los Altos. We're just we've been in Sunnyvale. We moved to Los Altos. Uh, we have a great new place. Um, but yeah, we, we, things are moving fast, and you know, it's a really good product, and uh, we're really excited to like get this out into the world. For more information, you go to www.electricimp. E L E C T R I C I M P. Like there. Uh, dot com. Um, and there's information on there, there's a mailing list you can join. Thank you.